We all have times in our lives where we need that extra boost, that extra motivation, not just from outside, but from within. And if you actually look up motivation in the dictionary, what does it mean? It means reasons for doing a particular behavior, a reason for acting in a certain way. And the difference between thinking that I can do something and I can't do something is, is very, very simple. It's very, very simple. What we don't realize, what we fail to understand so often is that success is a setup. You have to set yourself up to succeed. But the way most of you are living life right now, the way most of you are acting right now, you're not set up for success. You're set up for sabotage, for the same thing happening over and over again. And what we are here to talk about today in this video is how do we turn what is possible into what is very, very, very probable? How do we align our chips in a way that like dominoes, when they fall, they will fall in the exact place that you have set them up to? And that requires purpose. It requires a vision. It requires design, intention every single day on a consistent basis. And I want you to look around at your life the people, habits and thoughts and ask yourself, do these things numb me? Do they numb us or do they awaken me? Do they awaken us? Now let's look at each one of those. So people, the conversations that you're having, are they numbing you? Are they making you quiet and down and stay in the same average mindset that you are in? Or are they awakening you? Your habits, are you continually spending, wasting hours on your newsfeed, the games that you have, the Xbox that you have in your room? Are those things taking up your time and attention? And are you allowing yourself to be numbed by the endless distractions? And then let's move over to your thoughts. Are you spending more time complaining, bitching, whining, moaning about things? Your job, your boss, your weights, your gym routine that doesn't exist. Or are you focusing on different things, on new habits, new thoughts, choosing a different reality entirely? If you want different results, you need to behave and become somebody different. And a large part of that is you taking responsibility meaning the ability for you to respond to new results, to new environments and owning those things. And in order to do that, you're going to have to be around people who present to you a different reality. The people who challenge and awaken you, who are going to be the kind of individuals that ask you, what are you doing today to help the team finish the sprint? What did you achieve yesterday? How did that help you move forward? Compare that to the kind of person that's going to say, did you hear this thing about this person? Where you're spending time numbing yourself with gossiping conversations, where you're focusing on chilling versus challenging yourself to get out of your comfort zone. Think about your morning routine and the way you start your day. Are you setting yourself up for success? Or are you setting yourself up for sabotage? Are you meditating, planning your day, getting yourself in to the most peak state possible or are you numbing yourself through social media through your habits through the feed that you're looking at on your phone over and over again satisfaction comes from the activation of who you truly are and life is about the continual re-emergence and awakening of that real version of you and if you look at diamonds one of the most precious stones in the world how are they created after billions of years of pressure, it soaks it all in and it becomes tough enough that only a diamond can break another diamond. So the analogy here, the lesson here is that the only thing tough enough to break us is us, that pressure, it allows us to awaken ourselves. So when you focus on your life, allow the emergence of a new version of yourself and ask yourself that question, is the life you're living numbing you or is it awakening?